Hey there, everybody. Thanks for coming out today. Uh, really happy to see y'all. Got out of the office. It's 47 degrees, which is really nice. And uh, the wind is eh, off and on. So, um, yeah, but as you can see behind me, it could start bucketing down at any moment. So uh, I am going to go hide in the little, I don't know if you see it, the little, well, the little hide out there, the little Whatever this thing is, I'm not quite sure. We're in uh, Lad Marsh in Eastern Oregon, near La Grande. And um, they've got this little walkway to go out and observe the birds. If I were really into uh, photographing birds or wildlife, this would be an absolutely amazing place. But um, maybe that's something I'll get into further on down the line. What I've got for you today is uh, pretty much everything's changed this year. Um, I have a new bag and I have two new cameras and uh, one, two lenses are the same and I switched out one lens, but we'll get into it. Let's go hide under the uh, little shelter out there in case it starts raining and I'll tell you all about it. Okay, this will work quite nicely. Uh, the first thing to talk about is my new bag. This is the Tenba Solstice 24 liter and I've had it about two weeks now. I've taken it out on a couple of day shoots and I absolutely love it. It has all the features that I now know that I want in a bag. Um, the first most important thing is it has two side pockets. So I could put a water bottle in one, but this side pocket, I'm um, right now I've got my Fujifilm X-H2 with my 10 to 24 WR. And what that's uh, sitting on is my Gitso 1545 Traveler tripod which has become my video tripod. My iFootage Gazelle uh, TC7, my Thomas Heaton tripod, is my main tripod, particularly now that Fuji went to 40 megapixels. So, um, so how I normally hike is uh, the uh, video tripod goes in here and it uh, straps in with the, this top strap and then um, the iFootage Gazelle I carry along with me. So um, that was really important to me. I really don't like bags, and my old um, uh, Low Pro Trekker was one that the tripod uh, strapped to the front, and um, uh, that it, I, it just makes it too unwieldy. Uh, the side is where the tripod should go, and um, I can always throw a water bottle in there, or if I know I'm gonna be doing a lot of walking and not needing my other tripod, I could always put the Gazelle, um, just strap the Gazelle to these two straps. These straps are big enough, and they have uh, provision here that you could like uh, strap your jacket to it if it gets hot, that kind of a deal. So um, not sure I will really use that, but I def definitely knew that I wanted these side pockets with the side straps. Okay, the other thing that I really wanted, and I have in my, now let's talk about my Lotus 32L F-Stop. Love that bag, but um, it, it's kind of hard to work out of, and I'm not so sold on the inserts, and I don't really need 32 liters. So not really sure what I'm gonna use that bag for moving forward. Uh, the concept is great, but in practice, it's not that practical. So. I don't know. I mean, I'm much happier with this bag and this size bag. So uh, the thing, one of the things that I wanted, um, also it's got a pretty smooth front so it won't get that dirty. Um, another thing that I wanted was to be able to access the gear from the back here, from the strap side, and this bag does that perfectly. Another cool thing that it does is you don't have to open it up all the way to get to your camera. So, um, so let's talk about the cameras real quick. Inside the bag here, this section here is where my X-H2 with the 10 to 24 would live. And then here I have my X-T5 with the L bracket on it. And um, that's got the 35 F2 on it. Um, sometimes I bring my 18 to 55, sometimes I bring the 35 F2. Those are kind of interchangeable. And then the new lens for this year is the 70 to 300 um, yeah, I really like this lens. It's super sharp. It's already produced portfolio level images and uh, it's lightweight and it's equivalent of a 450 in full frame. Fantastic lens. So here I have my filters in the uh, Mindshift Filter Nest Mini. I have a uh, three stop, a 10 stop, 
and the circular polarizer with adapter rings for all my lenses. Here's my backup microphone. It's a Rode Video Micro. And then I have a Peak Design uh, leash that I keep in there in case I need to uh, put a strap on the camera so I can carry it around. This is where my glasses go for so I can see. And that's how I have that all arranged. And up here now, it, this bag does not have as much room in it as the Lotus 32L up top, and that's where the extra room is. There, it actually has more room for gear in it, which is interesting. But up there, I just keep a microfiber cloth. Uh, I get these up at Costco, uh, which is an American store, and that's the best place to get microfiber cloths. And a pair of gloves in case it gets cold in the wintertime. And let's, oh, and then these pa pa pockets right here are really great. I keep my cheap JG, JJC like 10 buck remote that I got off of Amazon in case I need to time some waves. And then in here I keep my hot shoe cover and one of those wrenches to tighten up my um, L brackets if I need to. Uh, let's go up into the top pocket. Oh, and I have my Peak Design clip here, which is interesting because I don't have the other part attached to any of my cameras, which is something I need to work on. Up in the top section here, so, and I also really appreciate that it's got this top opening. It's got this built-in deal here, this little pouch for the rain cover. And the rain cover is detachable, so you can uh, throw the rain cover in the wash if it gets uh, really dirty. And up here, I keep a uh, Black Diamond Cosmo light uh, head, headlamp uh, torch. And um, then here is the L part to the L bracket for my X-H2. I use my X-H2 as my vlogging camera and my backup stills camera in case my X-T5 has a problem. And if my X-T5 has a problem and I want to do verticals or, you know, use the X-H2 as a, my main photo camera, then I need that L bracket part. I don't need it, but it's nice to have. So I can't keep that with me. Um, both of the L brackets on both of my cameras are small rigs, and I think those are the best. I get them off of eBay, and uh, I really like the small rig bracket. Um, I really like the small rig wooden bracket for the X-T5. That's really nice. Now, the X-T5 is my main stills camera, and um, it's my backup or B-roll video camera. And so I keep the um, L bracket part on there. It's really cool that these small rig L brackets are detachable. Uh, that's great. Uh, the only thing about the X-T5 version is um, I have very limited faith that these magnets are going to hold that little screwdriver part on there. Um, one of these I had for another camera, it kind of, well, all of these that I've had for other cameras, it's kind of slipped in a little cutout slide. This is only held on there by the magnets. No big deal. I mean, I always have a pocket knife. I guess I don't even really need this. I probably should just leave it home. But it's kind of convenient to have it. Um, yeah, I really like the L bracket on the X-T5. And um, so let's talk about it. So the X-T5 and the X-H2. The X-H2 is a great video camera, and I've had nothing but success with it for doing videos. The eye tracking works great. The videos, uh, you know, are uh, 422, 10-bit beautiful right out of camera. You know, I don't really do any F-vlog, all that nonsense. I don't really grade at all. Um, I may lighten and darken a little bit. That's about it. Uh, but for stills, um, the 40 megapixel sensor is all I could have hoped for in the Fujis. And, um, and yeah, so, uh, so I'm very pleased with the output. The it, the, the, the images have like this 3D quality. I've said it all before. I mean, I really enjoy uh, the, having an X-T5 for my main stills camera because it really is probably one of the best stills cameras ever made. Um, and, and I mean that, you know, as far as a digital camera is concerned in terms of the user interface and the ergonomics and all the rest of it. I mean, when you get down to the fact that like you have very few complaints about a camera and how it's laid out, I mean, you know, I, I wish that, I mean, it's just even stupid. And I've said it before, I wish you could toggle. I, w I wish you could set it so that you only toggle the 3D or the 2D. I don't like that you have to toggle the 2D and then the 3D and then off. That's ridiculous. That's, that's the biggest complaint I can come up with with the camera. 
that's stupid. I mean, it's it just goes to show you how. Okay, one serious complaint though, um, it would have been nice if they had the uh, remote control plug-in on the right side of the camera, instead on the grip side of the camera instead of on the uh, L bracket side of the camera. But you know, I use the two-second self-timer anyway, so what's the big deal? The the fact that uh, these um, control dials are all lockable or not is just brilliant. And, you know, on and on and on. It really is a fantastic camera. And um, so, and I finally have my vlogging camera and my photo camera both taking the same batteries. And what's really cool about this whole system here, because it really is a system, is that my vlogging camera also backs up my stills camera with, um, with uh, the same sensor. And my uh, stills camera backs up my vlogging camera with, you know, the same sensor and the, almost the same capabilities. And the rain's here now, so things are getting a little wet. Um, what else? Okay. So that's enough about the cameras. Really love them and, and the weight and everything and the price and the size and the lenses and everything is great. Um, I have a MindShift uh, card again. Um, and I've got a, a couple of CF Express Type Bs and a couple of uh, SD cards in there just in case, although I've, I've never shot that much. I guess it's just to have, and that's all I've got in there for now. So there it is. Um, loving the, the other thing I really like about this bag is it stands up when you set it down on its butt, and that's just terrific. So, um, well, there it is. Uh, that's my gear for 2023, and I'm looking forward to photographing with it this year. And uh, thanks for coming out. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll see you out here. Have a great one. Bye.